Europe's first mission to Mars since 2003 has just taken off. And if all goes well, it will arrive at the Red Planet in October. Coined Exo Mars, its mission is to search for past and present life on the Red Planet by investigating the Martian's atmosphere as gases. It's the mission where we are expecting to get the answer to the questions we have about Mars. It's life, I mean, it's evolution, but also how or what that, does it mean for the whole evolution of the solar system, including Earth. The first of two missions involves a satellite called the Trace Gas Orbiter, dropping a probe called Schiaparelli onto Mars. The two vehicles will separate uh, three days before a landing, and the TGO will go into uh, its um, capture orbit to go around uh, Mars and uh, the Schiaparelli instead will uh, land on the surface of Mars. Methane was originally detected by Europe's first Red Planet mission, Mars Express. Methane is a hot topic, so trying to understand the origin of the methane and where on the surface of Mars and when it's being produced and how it is destroyed is very important. Since methane is short-lived on geological timescales, its presence implies the existence of an active, current source of methane. Organisms on Earth release methane as they digest nutrients, but other purely geological processes can also release this organic compound. The orbiter's instruments will detect trace gases and their characteristics in the Martian atmosphere. The second mission is planned to launch in 2018. It will deliver a rover and a stationary science platform to Mars. The rover will collect samples from above and below the surface. All missions up to now have only dug the top five centimeters of the surface, and we will go down to two meters. This is very important in the subsurface and at depth that we have the best chance of finding evidence for the possible past presence of life on Mars. The two-part mission is a joint collaboration between Europe and Russia. Both have struggled with Mars missions. Europe's first Red Planet mission was the Mars Express, which had an orbiter and a lander. Though the orbiter continues to study Mars, the UK-led Beagle 2 Mars lander wasn't as lucky. It was released from its mother craft in December 2003, but nothing was heard from the lander after its scheduled touchdown. More than a decade later, evidence shows the Beagle 2 did land on Mars, but failed to communicate back to Earth. Russia may have achieved the first soft landing on Mars in 1971, but has never been back. Its last two attempts to Mars never got beyond Earth's orbit. And in recent years, Russia's Roscosmos has also suffered a string of losses. But scientists hope these missions will further our understanding of the mysterious red planet and perhaps uncover an indication of life on Mars.